around 10:44 this evening, the Long Beach Fire Department received reports of a shooting on the 2700 block of 7th Street. He got shot on the neck, and some here, you know, it's just like people that got hit. I mean, it's the blood is just like spread all over. Back in 2019, multiple gunmen climbed up on a fence of a Long Beach home and opened fire. They believe the bullets were hitting rival gang members, but in reality, none of the victims were their enemies. One man jumped over the fence and then uh, says that, I'm going to come back and kill all of you. On Tuesday night of October 29, 2019, 27-year-old Daniel Chan hosted a Halloween slash birthday party at his home on the 2700 block of East 7th Street in the Rose Park area. It was supposed to be a fun and chilled gathering of 25 to 30 family members and co-workers. But as Daniel stood at the entrance of his backyard greeting the guests, a man came to him with a mask covering his face and said, Be prepared to die tonight. The stranger then walked away, leaving Daniel feeling uneasy. Of course it could have been just a Halloween prank, but Daniel still took the threat seriously. And instead of staying in the backyard, he rushed the guests inside the house and planned to call 911 better safe than sorry. Meanwhile, Daniel's father, Hu Chan, left to visit his daughter's house briefly, where they were having a ceremony for her father-in-law, who had recently died. Within minutes of Hu's return, his property turned into a slaughterhouse. Daniel had never gotten a chance to call 911 before the chaos happened. As more guests kept arriving, eventually, everybody thought it was alright to go outside again. But as soon as they did, at about 10.45 p.m., several men with masks climbed over the alleyway fence and opened fire. Within seconds, 12 people were hit before the shooters disappeared into the night. It took officers less than a minute to arrive at the house, and more than 100 police personnel responded to the scene throughout the night. Paramedics triaged the victims both outside and inside the home before transporting them to local hospitals. Seven women and two men 20 to 49 years of age were injured some of them critically. Three men were pronounced dead at the scene. At around 10.44 this evening, the Long Beach Fire Department received reports of a shooting on the 2700 block of 7th Street. Upon the arrival of the initial engine company and the paramedic unit, they obviously were confronted with a scene that was very chaotic. Uh, there were a total of 12 patients that were involved in this incident. Three confirmed fatalities. All three of those are adult males, uh, estimated to be in their mid-20s. At this juncture, obviously, the scene is uh, static. Uh, the Long Beach Police Department continues to investigate uh, from the reports from, that I talked to watch commanders, the, the suspects are at large. Maurice Poe Jr. was just 25 years old, but he had been together with his girlfriend for 10 years and had a three-year-old daughter. His family said Maurice was full of life, but that night it all ended in the blink of an eye. 35-year-old Melvin Williams was described as an outgoing and fun person with the best humor. He and his sibling were each other's best friends and will miss the trips together with non-stop laughter. 28-year-old Ricardo Torres was one of the many co-workers attending the Halloween slash birthday party. Daniel said Ricardo was a great person whose presence just lit up every room he entered and he always made you feel welcomed. The saddest thing here is that none of these men and none of the injured were the intended targets of the shooting. They were simply in the wrong place at the wrong time, or rather, the shooters were. After months of investigation and 15 search warrants, the police announced a dozen arrests in September 2020. Police arrested 12 people in connection with a mass shooting at a Halloween party last year. Three men died and nine people were injured. Police say they believe it was a pre-planned attack targeting a party of rival gang members. Eight men were accused of being in an alley behind the house that night and charged with murder, but only three actually opened fire. The Long Beach Police Chief Robert Luna stated that they believed the attack was pre-planned and the men were targeting rival gang members. The suspects were accused of being members of the Tiny Rascal Gang and apparently they thought members of the Asian Boys were among the crowd at the Halloween birthday party. So it was all a mistake. However, testimony presented in March 2021 showed a connection between one of the partygoers and one of the TRG members. Apparently. A man named Timmy was a co-worker of Daniel Chan's and also a longtime friend of one of the suspects, Jeremy Penn. On the day of the shooting, Timmy was picked up by Jeremy to have lunch at a noodle house near Anaheim Street and Raymond Avenue. As they ate, Timmy invited Jeremy to Daniel's party. However, 
Jeremy said he did not like Daniel because he saw a video where Daniel disrespected TRG. Later, as Timmy arrived at the party, Jeremy called him and told him to go inside, but he did not say why. Fearing for the worst, Timmy alerted Daniel, but 20 minutes later, the guests were back outside in the backyard again, and then the shooting started. In the end, charges against Danny Soren were dismissed after he pleaded no contest to murder in a separate case. He was sentenced to 25 years to life in state prison. The other seven men were ordered by a judge to stand trial on murder and attempted murder charges after pleading not guilty. They could face the death penalty if convicted, so it will likely take a long time before the case reaches trial. So the family and friends of the victims are still waiting for justice and trying to learn how to live with what happened. Maurice, Melvin, and Ricardo were not gang members, nor had they ever done anything to anger tiny rascals. Just because one party goer may have done something to disrespect the gang, many others were hurt and three people lost their lives. I thought that we escaped from the Khmer Rouge. We came to this country. We thought, well, this is a safe place to live. Not anymore.